Hey, yo, it's Marcus the Mobile Mechanic uh, back at it again. I'm uh, dealing with this 2009 Dodge Charger. And let me tell you how much of a headache it is. I just put a water pump on, right? This water pump is not the same as this water pump or this water pump or this water pump, which came on the car, which is AutoZone sells, which O'Reilly sells. So if you're a water pump, is not out, as in it's not squeaking, you're not overheating, it's probably a gasket. That's your issue. Instead of gas is for $10, let's swap out the gasket. This is how you take it off. You got an uh, air box sitting on the top, it's gonna be a uh, flat head, flat head. There's a flat head, for me anyway. Then it was a 10 millimeter bolt right here. Pull the air box up, and then there was an electrical connector on it right here disconnect it push this button pull it back boom you'll be met with this then you got the belt down there so the tension is right here you want to put your tool on it and push it towards the driver's side detention it pop your belt off then you got two 13 millimeters for your thermostat housing uh, excuse me after you get those off you'll have an electrical connector right here for your temp uh, cooling temperature sensor there's going to be a 19 millimeter after you take that off you get a pry bar stick it right here and wiggle it like this boogle 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 and then it's going to pop out right there check that seal make sure that seal isn't broken or you're going to have a leak after you do that this here is a 16 millimeter bolt i like to do that one last right 15 millimeter bolt on your tensioner pulley you have a pulley right here which is a 13 millimeter bolt and then you got 10, 13 millimeter bolts going around this thing. So you get your one, two, three, four, five. That's one up under there. I'll show you like this. So this is gonna be sitting like this. I'm gonna put it all the way right here for you. Bam. This is how I set it up when I when I went to take it out. I set it up just like this. Because when the bolts come out, it's going to come out every other bolt. So every other bolt going to be long, short, long, short, long, short. And you got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then the big 16 is 11. You know what I'm saying? So 10, 13, 1, 16. And then it'll be off. Now the problem that I'm having is, if you look closely you'll see that this pulley is not lined up with that one, nor is this pulley here. Uh, it's such a headache. I'm just gonna clean off the old water pump and throw it back on. If you have a solution to this problem, you let me know. And I would appreciate it greatly because this is a job that I did not anticipate on spending all day on. And this shit show, it's a shit show. If this help, like and subscribe. If not, then don't. But uh, I need both hands and my phone for the die, so I'm not gonna record this. But this is the actual part, and it's righty tighty, lefty loosey. I like to do this one last. Get you a catch pan up under there because you're gonna lose cooling. If you wanna, uh, I don't like to drain it from the radiator because there's gotta be a lot of drain. Yeah, you, know, you just put two jugs at this thing, so just let it drain from here and refill it. And, just a bleeder screw right here. That's that's it. That's it. Me. It's gonna be my second and third time pulling this thing. Stupid.